We all remember the devastating ice storm in 2007. Ice covered tree limbs knocked down power lines, leaving 650,000 people across the state without power. And more recently, the Christmas Eve snowstorm that turned out much worse than many anticipated. This week, forecasters are expecting a combination of both of those storms, and that has the governor concerned. Some models indicate ice of uh, an inch and a half, and if that occurs, then obviously there will be significant power outages across the state. Some people could be without power for days, even uh, a week or more. He says, of course, weather predictions can change before the storm that is due to hit the state on Thursday, but they are preparing for the worst. This storm has um, real potential to be dangerous. And the bottom line is I want people to be ready for it and to be aware. Henry says many Oklahomans were stranded when the last storm hit because they were unaware of conditions or they just didn't listen to them. He urges everyone to prepare homes and cars with the proper provisions and to heed travel advisories. Meanwhile, street work crews in cities like Tulsa are preparing for those who must get out on the roads. The city typically goes through two to 3,000 tons of salt in any given ice storm, but when they run out of salt, they go to plan B, which is sand. And while there are plenty of sand and salt reserves in the warehouse, city crews don't know if they will get more should another storm hit. Paul Strezik with Streets Maintenance says budget cuts could prevent them from getting additional shipments. It could. We moved some money around to get this latest uh, shipment of salt, uh, but you know we would have to evaluate that when we got to it. But you know the budget is a problem citywide. There's only so much preparing that can be done in advance of a storm. Stan Whiteford with AEP PSO says the tree trimming around power lines is all part of their regular maintenance work. There's really not any one thing you can do uh, on a day or two in advance of a storm to get ready for it. It's all year round planning that prepares us for a situation like what we may be potentially facing here in a couple of days. He says they learned a lot of lessons from the big ice storm two years ago. The governor and city leaders agree that they will do whatever needs to be done to protect the public. For the Oklahoma News Report, I'm Angela Rosecrans.